Now, if you ever go on Facebook or Instagram, you've probably never seen enough, or you've probably have seen <laughs> enough cute animal pictures to last a lifetime. But hey, bear with us here, <laughs> get it? We have something a bit different tonight, a curious way of looking at animals and a new kind of arc to save them from extinction. That's right, science and nature specialist John Hollenhorst has the story from Utah's Hogle Zoo. National Geographic photographer Joel Sartori figures he shot about 11,000 animal portraits in the last 16 years. Although 1,000 are all insects from this summer during the pandemic. His goal is to shoot every species in human captivity. We photograph rare or common animals, big or small, from elephants to ants. For example, this critter you've probably never heard of, a hyrax. At first glance, maybe a cross between a woodchuck and a very fat squirrel. They kind of look like rodents, but they're not related to rodents at all. Their closest living relative is actually the elephant. And now, captured in all its furry finery by Joel Sartori in what kind of looks like a studio portrait. And here's a nice pose, a couple of zebras named Ziva and Zion. It's Sartori's 25-year plan, taking portraits of about 16,000 species and putting them in an arc, a photo arc to save them from extinction. The goal of the photo arc is to become an ad campaign for nature to get people to start thinking about the things that they can do to save the planet. You may have noticed that his photos don't show you anything regarding where the animal lives or what its habitat is like at the zoo. That's part of a deliberate photographic strategy. So we do all these portraits on black and white backgrounds and we use studio lighting. Kind of like a high school portrait. The reason we do that is we want to give equal size and equal voice to every animal. In these portraits, a mouse is every big as an elephant. In many photo arc portraits over the years, there's eye contact between zoo animals and human animals. We want people to see that these animals are living sentient beings. They're, they're conscious. They, they have emotions. They have a basic right to exist. Some animals aren't necessarily cooperative. Sartori admits to one complete failure. Well, <laughs> yeah, chimps, adult chimps. Yeah, they're really tough. They're really hard. In this Kansas zoo years ago, it was like a movie star versus the paparazzi. Sometimes the magic works, sometimes it doesn't. I still don't have a good portrait of an adult chimp, I don't think. But the photo arc cruises onward with plenty at stake. Sartori believes the fate of humans is intertwined with all those other species. We cannot doom half of all species to extinction and think that people will be just fine. It won't work like that. It'll be a very miserable experience for all of us. The deal is, there's some people that, that say, oh, why should we have zoos? And I say, well... If you like these, a lot of these species, they're only found in zoos now. They're the real arcs. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News at Utah's Hogle Zoo. Well, to learn more and to see the chimp incident, you can go to Sartori's website or check out the photo arc videos on YouTube.